Hey, I'm Todd. Thanks for choosing to watch my video. And if you would subscribe it, like it, all that stuff, you know, uh, that'd be great. Otherwise, enjoy the video, and I hope it uh, gives you the information you need and is helpful to you. Take care. So I do get a lot of comments with people saying I have saved them a lot of money, and I do get questions, hey, can I send you some money somehow? And now there is a way, if you so choose, called the Fan Funding. You'll find it on the channel page right there. Underneath a 2007 Chevy Aveo radiator replacement. Now this Aveo does not have air conditioning. Seems to make uh, quite a difference in uh, time. So that's what we got. No air conditioning for this car. We got the cooling fan right here with the wiring. So we just got to push down on this terminal theoretically and uh, disconnect it. So that's what we're going to try to do. And disconnect that right there. Here's the upper hose. So I might need to take the fan out first. Looks like probably has a peg. Goes in a hole here. And uh, a little slot right here. Not a huge deal. So we'll go up top and take out probably two 10 millimeter bolts to get the fan out and disconnect this right here. It does have power steering. We're going to re remove the reservoir. 10 millimeter bolts. Nuts. Eight millimeter, taking off the clamps. Ten millimeter bolts for the hold downs, one in each corner. Taking off the lower hose. Almost done. Then we get uh, players and we'll take this clamp off here for the uh, coolant overflow jug over here. It's a screw-on type cap right there. So we're just going to take that uh, clamp off and uh, well, this radiator will be coming out already. We have a container down below to catch any fluid. It didn't seem to have a drain plug that I could see easily. And I think most of it leaked out because the radiator's bad. No 
you'll find these on the bottom of the radiator or in here. Oh, it looks like there's only one so far. I'll have to take a look around and up oh, there's the other one right there. <clears throat> So yeah, I might have to transfer those off of here, and this may need to come off too. I don't have the new radiator yet, but I need this for the cooling fan. I think that is about it for this job. Oh, keep an eye out for these bushings too. So we got our uh, radiator back in, cooling fan on. Don't forget about that uh, little hose over there in the corner. It can be out of sight, out of mind sometimes. So do that. And then we got a maximum and minimum line here in this area. So we're just going to add, uh, probably add a 50-50 mix of coolant in your vehicle. Maybe half a gallon of coolant, half a gallon of water, switch back and forth. Just going to add some coolant. This whole car takes about six quarts, which is about a gallon and a half, so I wouldn't expect necessarily to use a ton of coolant on this. Just keep adding some, you can hear it bubbling. I think I'm going to feel pretty good about adding just about a gallon of fluid and then running it. And uh, maybe to run it for a few minutes and you keep adding some fluid here until we get to the max level. And then uh, run it for a few minutes and see if we get some heat out of the vents in the car. Put your temperature reading on hot and put the fan on. Start feeling some, for some warm air. After maybe five minutes you should start to feel some heat. If not, I'm going to shut it off a little bit and let it set. Maybe an air pocket in there somewhere. Getting close to the max. We're going to uh, top it off a little bit more and run it just like I said. Feeling some good hitting heat in here. That's a good time for it to stall, right? Five to six maybe out there somewhere? No. No? Go home and take care of my wife. Yeah. Feeling good here. So we're gonna go for a test drive. Seven or eight miles. Come back, shut it off, let it settle for a few hours and then double check the cool level. Put it between the minimum and the max. And that will be it for your radiator replacement in your 2009, I believe, Chevy Aveo. 2007. 2007 Chevy Aveo.